well, homes in the Kochi stronghold area as well as homes south of Dragoon Road have been evacuated as the Lizard Fire and the Dragoon Fire have indeed merged. If you take a look at that mountainside over there, you'll see that flames are still lighting it up tonight, burning at 7,500 acres. Now, air support is playing a crucial role in containing this fire. As smoke billows from the Dragoon Mountains, planes and helicopters flying low into the smoke, dropping water and slurry to stop the flames. So it's kind of a continuous uh, uh, operation with aircraft over the fire area frequently, not always air tankers, but many times uh, helicopters. Fire personnel are prepared for a windy weekend, but don't foresee the winds getting in the way of the aerial attack. It depends on how heavy the winds are and that sort of thing, but uh, again, they can operate through some, some fairly adverse winds. One thing they will not operate through, however, is when people fly drones into the area, which someone did on Thursday night. They could easily come up over a ridge and a drone coming up from the other side, which they can't see, and run into it, and it's, it's, it's going to cause the aircraft to crash and somebody's going to die. On top of the safety concern for the crews, they will also have to ground all air operations until the airspace is clear. This could create a potential setback for stopping the fire from spreading. If you have a critical situation where those air tankers are needed right now, and we have to shut down air operations for a couple of hours to try and make sure the airspace is clear, you can imagine what the fire can do. And again, the fire is 0% contained at this point now with more than 220 personnel on scene. Now, the Cochise County Sheriff's Office says they have the Red Cross has set up a shelter for the evacuees at Elfrida High School. Live tonight in Dragoon, Max Darrow, KGON 9, on your side.